So I've been working super freaking hard lately and uh, I decided I'm gonna go hunting today. This deer blind of mine, believe it or not, I have not hunted in probably three years. I put corn every year and everything. I just, I just don't have the time. So today is the first time in like probably two and a half years. I don't even know how long that I'm gonna go, go a hunt and uh, it looks like there's a lot of activity there, but I guess we'll find out. All right, I will see you in the deer blinds. So I'm in the deer blind. Uh, the feeder is going to be going off here in about 10 minutes or so. Uh, I have my boomstick right here, and I have this tactic cam on it. Uh, let me show you, so you see kind of what it looks like through through there. Uh, you'll be able to see what I see, and uh, over here. I have my uh, Swarovski spotting scope and I attached a camera to it as well so hopefully we'll be able to see uh, you know get some really good footage let me turn this one on so you guys can see what it looks like and uh, anyway it's about 130 yards away the feeder right there but you know, you'll be able to see a lot better through the spotting scope and uh, obviously through the uh, through this scope. So we'll see. Hopefully, we'll be able to see something. I'm 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 guessing there's gonna be a lot of hogs based on the tracks that I saw yesterday. I came and put some more corn in the feeders, and my goodness, there's tracks everywhere. There's quite a few deer here, but uh, nothing, nothing big yet. We'll keep waiting. Maybe we'll get some hogs out here. Once the hogs show up, the deer typically are gone. So if we start seeing the deer kind of start to run away, uh, you know, kind of start to scatter, it's either a really big deer or hogs, more than likely hogs. There's a lot of young deer. I don't see any mature bucks here. Just a lot of young ones. Well, no luck today. Um, there was a lot of young bucks. They're all gone now. Uh, as soon as the corn was gone, they were gone. Um, it's surprising that I didn't see any hogs. Cause there is a, I mean, just tremendous amount of uh, hog tracks, but I bet you they'll be here in the morning. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can be here in the morning. Anyway, um, I will try to be here in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> either here or at my other feeder the one that's uh, set up for long range maybe I'll go over there especially with this uh, uh, spotting scope set up right here I think it's too close but I think for that uh, for the long range it'll be perfect well that's kind of why I set it up that way <laughs> alright so we're back at the ranch this morning um, I'm gonna set up at the other feeder like I said this one is about 480 to 500 yards away depending where I'm at. I think where I set up right now it's about 480 yards. Uh, I'm not looking to shoot deer today. Uh, however, there's a hog and maybe there's no deer. <laughs> then we'll get a hog or something, okay? Um, I'm gonna, as you know, I'm here by myself, but uh, I want to see what's been coming to the feeder. And uh, so I want to bring uh, some friends over to hunt and uh, maybe even my daughter. And so I want to make sure that 
if there are any good deer here, then obviously I'm not going to shoot them. I don't really care to shoot deer, to be honest with you. Uh, I've shot plenty in my lifetime, and I'm just not, I'm not after any trophies. Uh, I'll shoot one or two a year, typically just one, just so we can make some sausage and that's it. But hogs, I do enjoy shooting hogs, that for sure, especially because we have so many that we have to get rid of them. So if I do get one, it's mainly for pest control. So there's really not much work involved. <laughs> anyway, let me set up. I'm just going to set up on the back of the truck. Um, I didn't bring a shooting mat, so I'm just going to lay right on the cold truck you know i have about 45 minutes before the uh, feeder goes off and hopefully by then we'll have some daylight but like i said i'm gonna go set up and i'll show you what's going on <laughs> Alright, so we did not get lucky today. There was some deer there under the feeder. It was a you know, little buck. Uh, he's pretty young, pretty small. So obviously I'm not going to take him. And uh, I'm just going to have to try to find the time and hunt a little more. The uh, I'm really liking that, uh, <laughs> that setup. The, uh, the Swarovski BTX-95 with my... Uh, camera I made this adapter on my lathe and uh, I think it's working pretty good uh, I'm really looking for some hogs and I'm surprised they, they were not here today uh, they may be going to the other feeder that I was at yesterday evening they may be going there in the morning I don't know uh, obviously this is why it's called hunting right because you just never know so anyway while I'm here uh, all the animals are pretty much gone all right so while I'm here I'm just going to take a cold bore shot at that target that I have over there that, uh, I, you know, I'm sitting at 480 yards and uh, it'd be good to uh, take a shot and make sure that uh, everything is on. That way when I come back tomorrow, uh, you know, I know exactly what's going on with the rifle. All right, let me, uh, let me take a shot, see what it looks like. I'll be able to record it on my, uh, you know, my setup. My, again, like I was saying, my BTX-95 with uh, with a camera. Also, I'm going to try to record it on my tactic cam, see how that looks. Uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of gadgets <laughs> trying to get you guys, you know, better, better footage. Because I understand it's really hard if I'm just sitting here going, oh, I'm holding two tents or three tents or whatever. But if you don't see it, it's really hard, kind of. Especially for the newer shooters to really understand what's going on. So the tactic cam... It's really going to help with that as well as the, uh, the uh, you know, Spanish scope. All right, let me, uh, let me take a shot, see what it looks like. Yep, that's a good one. If I was hunting. <laughs> 480 yards. It appeared to be dead center, so. Yep, if I uh, would have took a shot on game, we would have been dead on, which obviously is what we're looking for. So 480 yards for me, that's, uh, you know, it's not an unethical shot. So there you have it. We'll keep trying. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I know this is kind of a hunting uh, version of what I do, <laughs> but, you know, it's all applicable, right? Uh, as you saw, this is my... Uh, this is the the rig that I compete with and so I'm extremely extremely uh, confident that it's gonna do well and as you guys saw uh, I was you know obviously I was very confident but after uh, after taking that shot on the target obviously you know just a hundred and two percent confident that uh, you know I can make an ethical shot at this distance um, Obviously, you need to verify, make sure that you can as well before you attempt something like this. 
uh, never go out without first verifying uh, and know for a fact that you can do it because you don't want to wound any animals or, or anything it's just unethical but anyway uh, enough of that thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time keep them centered and I mean I'm feeling me gonna make an ugly scene tonight I'm